<laughs> Whatever. Hey, you guys, and welcome to another We Discuss video, another discussion video. And I'll link the last one that I did with Geraldine and Christina the other day below because I'll probably upload that one first. But for this one, I have Phil from People Play. Hey. Alyssa from AC Reads. Hi. And we're going to be discussing our book turn offs. I probably don't have as much as them because I'm, I'm more laid back, but. I'll to explain what a turn off is for those who don't know. <laughs> for the younger viewers. For the youngins. A or the noobs. Off. Is something that makes you not like a book or a person or <laughs> but we're not going there we're not going ignore there. the peanut gallery over there okay so what, what is what are, what are your big turnoffs Alyssa? honestly my one of my huge turnoffs is a genre and it's dystopian i hate dystopian what books. <laughs> it was dystopian. you bought dystopian i didn't you realize we had City. an exotic bird <laughs> Retelling, isn't it? No. no. I did not so buy it. Bad. I'm glad you say bad. something, but anyway. Yeah. I can't think. <laughs> Honestly, I don't like dystopian. I think it's overdone, and I really feel like we need another genre trend change up. I agree. I'm sick of uh, all the same kind of stuff. Every single thing I feel like. <laughs> okay, so. Another big she turn off. Needs to. I guess turn off it would be for me is like. <laughs> did you say pause? It doesn't. Oh, yeah. Whatever. It's okay. too far. What about gone. you, Phil? What's a big turn off for you? Um, I really, um, I mean, this is just me personal. A lot of people like it. I really don't like contemporary, which is like totally the opposite of what opposite. I was just saying. I love contemporary. It's um, my favorite. I guess it's just opinion and like perspective and whatever. But a lot of. Um, Contemporary, I don't think is as realistic as it could be. Mm -hmm. I think that it's dramatized way too much or not enough in some cases, and um, I think that people try to take like little tiny issues and make them bigger than what they really are, mm -hmm. which is a lot of the case. I think sometimes I can see that a lot. Yeah, I think the biggest one for me is plot holes. Like especially if I can find it in the first few chapters, and yeah, and if I get to the end of the book and you never explain it, then I'm just Are gonna we be thinking like, of the same book we're right thinking now? of the well, same. And then I have book. A, okay, I'm not gonna say it right now, but like, Lauren Destin. Wow, hey, there's a bully policy now. Y'all going to jail? <laughs> Shut Shut up. Up. <laughs> the book so i'm gonna read it but i still like i read the first couple of chapters and i was just like but this doesn't make sense because it doesn't make it, sense it doesn't make sense do you want to explain what your problem is what okay like okay because it's a the, legitimate thing it okay in the sense. in the first couple of uh, you're allowed to say the book like, it's women okay. by lauren de stefano we are not goodreads bullies <laughs> let me just stop and say that right there <laughs> but like okay the book is about Girls who <laughs> die at the age of 20 and boys who die at the age of 25, right? So girls are really pop, uh, really needed and yeah. popular. And there's so so much that people just kidnap these people, girls off the streets. And in the first couple of chapters, I read the sample before. They like, okay, they take the girls and some they sell to like families and stuff so that the girls can have babies so they can kind of continue the population. Some, you know, they sell into the sex slavery. And okay, that makes sense. But some they kill. And I'm not sure about you guys, but I have a problem with that. With the unwanted ones. Like, why steal them in the first place? Yeah. Like, yeah. You would exactly. think you'd know you'd have why to. Why can you sell them all into the sex? Trend, yeah. You know? I don't think people are picky if you're going out and. Yeah, if you're dying when you're 20, you're <laughs> taking whatever you're you can get. You're trying to, like, repopulate the earth as fast as possible. You're not going to kill off the people the who ugly can carry the, the baby. Yeah. Like, I don't think you're caring sense. about the person and stuff. So that kind of irritates me. Yeah. But I'm still going to give it a chance because I'm like that. But, like, it's, it, it's a big book, turn. So I no. But I got it for free, so it's I can't even lie. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have bought it. Otherwise. I have a segue that goes off of that. Okay, I have another good turn off. I hate it. I, well, we were talking about this before. I hate insta love. Yeah. So much. I mean, I'm not a big romance person <laughs> ever. Um, like, I love books that are mainly, like, plot based, and then there's, like, a little bit of romance just because that's, like, everything. But, um,. Just books that I've read that have been totally unrealistic, like, I don't know, how many think one. What's one that, like, Insta-love. The Duff. Oh, No, don't even get I, like the I love that. the Duff. That was an Insta-love. That was not Insta-love. Okay, that, that, that was not, that was Insta-sex. Thirsty. <laughs> but, so that's a far cry from Insta-love. Oh, yeah. Alright. Okay, so my, one of my Wait, hold things. hold on. Oh. What? <laughs> What's a good example um, of Insta-love? 
Peter and Katniss. Peter and Katniss. No. no. Yeah. He liked no. her for a long time. Katniss that was did so not love him. Alone. No, but he loved her. It doesn't have to be mutual. He loved her, but that's from like a young False. age. That was in Edward. That not kind insta of insta love. love. Like, sort of, but I feel like they went through a lot. I kind of proved that they loved each other. <laughs> well, Just Edward see what and I Bella. Where did they go? I said Bedward and Ella. <laughs> Well, um, at the very beginning, they were kind of insta love because she was all like Edward, Edward, and but I didn't really. That's not like a bad. I didn't have a problem, like a bad, I I didn't have a problem a, with it. Like one a, where they handled it wrongly, but I can't think of one right now. But I know there's some. There's a lot of Sarah Dessen books that could probably be seen as. Oh my god! Every romance, yeah. every yeah. Harlequin silhouette novel. Sometimes. Oh yeah. Just oh, like, Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, that's a really good example. <laughs> that's a dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Example. Well. <laughs> Christian Grace sees Anastasia and he's like, oh I want to tie you up and spank you. And she's just like, I love you. Okay, wait, no, I have a really good turn off that I just thought of. Okay, when you go to the bookstore and you're reading the back of a book and the plot sounds amazing. It's like everything you'd want in a book. And then the last part of the paragraph is, but then she meets like Jack, the really? mysterious boy that just moved next door. Really? And he can change everything. And immediately, because that literally is in every single book synopsis. <laughs> I just like close the book and I'm like, no. Because that's just in everything. Right? Yeah. I can see that. I hate that. Okay, I'm just going to choose a book randomly. It's not. He's going to choose five and none of them are going to do it. <laughs> not that one. She's in a mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> but then she needs okay. Okay. Do the skies everywhere. You have a good example. Okay. Um. Hold on, wait. I'm trying to find it. Wait. <laughs> but when Daily Died leaves, I don't think. It's oh no! Yeah, Joe yeah. is the new boy in town. <laughs> <laughs> A transplant from Paris, whose nearly magical grin is matched only by his musical talent. That is sounds so bad. <laughs> It's like, are you kidding me? <clears throat> it's just cookie cutter. Because her sister dying is not a big enough tragedy. She has to choose between two boys. Stupid. Not like this one, because like when it comes up, you're like, oh my gosh, she's probably gonna get hanged. She's a witch and stuff. But then Eldrick arrives with his golden mane and lion eyes, and it's <laughs> like golden mane. Does it literally <laughs> it did, say that? It literally says with his golden mane and lion eyes and allergic. Oh energy. good lord. <sighs> just okay. YA is just like. I have. Point. My biggest pet peeve, three words, authors behaving badly. Amen. I swear in. That's my biggest book. I hope off. you're watching this. I don't like you. <laughs> wow. I don't know who this say? is. Isaac Marion. Okay, let me explain. So if you guys haven't been following the drama that's going on about Goodreads, authors, a lot of authors who are overly sensitive to people who do not like their books have banded together and tried to say that there is bullying on Goodreads. Now, there are a lot of reviews that are very, they, it's very trash talking, it's very negative, it's very unprofessional, but there are other people who actually blog and write legitimate reviews and they're getting punished for it and even if you express a negative review, even if you say I didn't like this book because A, B, and C and it's a legitimate reason, yeah. you're portrayed as a bully because you're saying something negative about a book. And I hear, I've heard so many stories since I've started following this kind of, I don't, what is it called? It's like a trend almost. Yeah, like, there is actually a website called <coughs> Stop the Goodreads Bullies. And I've been on there. And some of those people that they screenshot is, some of them were kind of bad. And some of them, I was just like, okay, yeah, there's half and half. There's there's these uh, people who are being outrageous and I think they're making it. Yeah. And there's some people yeah. who are being too sensitive and it's like, yeah. I agree. Well, let me just defend myself in saying that I don't like this <laughs> Go ahead. He is the author of Warm Bodies, and he really dissed YA as a whole genre, saying that it wasn't real literature, and all this stuff, which is so... Uh, which I would understand if he was an adult author, okay? But if you've read Warm Bodies, it, it's literally just a YA book, and he's dissing his own writing, and it doesn't make sense because he thinks he's better than it, mm -hmm. and it, it's literally the same deck stuff, and I don't understand. Yeah. And I don't think that's fair. To get my opinion on the Goodreads thing, Ugh. as a writer, you're putting your work out there to be judged. That is literally your job. Mm -hmm. And if you're getting bad reviews, like, that's just part of the job. It's like going to a museum, mm -hmm. okay, seeing a painting you don't like, 
and saying, I don't like this. Are you going to offend the artist? Maybe a little bit, but other people are going to like it. Yeah. And on the opposite spectrum, I'm a book blogger, personally. I put, I spend a lot of time reading, I spend a lot of money on my books, and if I read a book that I do not like, I'm going to express my opinion. And for an author to think that they are... <laughs> justified in telling me that I am being a bully, that I'm giving them unfair review is just absolutely ridiculous to me. It's ludicrous, really. And when I hear about authors, because it does happen, you can find, I'm not going to say names or uh, um, specific stories, but authors have, <laughs> yeah, I'm not as bold as Phil because authors will track you down and they will be really rude to you and they will get um, their fans to kind of attack you and I don't think that's okay and I've heard a lot of yeah. really popular <laughs> YA authors who have done it and those <laughs> books are ruined. Really interesting. <laughs> no, that's okay. They've ruined me forever. That is my biggest book turn off. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean because sometimes I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to buy that book. Mm -hmm. I don't want to waste my money on Yeah, you don't want to support a support person. That decision. Because even... And also who's... This is their... They're other audience. people's work yeah yeah exactly yeah i take a lot of though technically in the I write, some so. of those authors that annoy her they don't annoy me mm -hmm. and one in particular that I love and i'm just like yeah i'm sorry yeah well, we're not gonna talk <laughs> not that. not everyone's gonna like you basically but there are gonna be people that but like for you. every one person who writes a negative review there's probably five who write rave reviews so even negative reviews our publicity for you. So. Yeah, because I don't go off off of bad <laughs> reviews myself personally. Mm -hmm. I I read it, but like it doesn't totally influence my decision in the end. No, negative. Unless there's spoilers in it, and they actually tell me everything that's going on, mm -hmm. like some reviews do, and I'm just like, if I don't like what's going on, they don't. Mm -hmm. and I'm just like, yeah, yep, yeah. What other book pet peeves or book turn offs? I don't know. I got that all out there. Yeah, that that's like the biggest one, and every time I think yeah, about it, I'm just, instantly enraged. Yeah, no, but. same. It makes me very like it makes me upset. Mm -hmm. It's annoying. Okay, I think I think that's it. Okay, I only had one. I feel so. <laughs> Apparently, Phil and I are just really negative. I'm totally chillax. We're not negative people. We just don't understand why people like uh, people do what they uh, do. Yeah, why people yeah. say what they say. Sometimes it's. Mm. But thank you guys for being on my channel, and I'll link them down below. And I will see you guys later. And you guys give us your uh, thoughts and opinions, and if you agree and disagree. You can write to me if you hate me now. <laughs> <laughs> Vlog name. No, I'm just kidding. I'm no. just kidding. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.